Hi, welcome to Wig Studio One. My name is Christy. I'm with Wigging with Christy. Today I'm bringing you a review of Belcha's Cafe Chic Wig, which is a heat friendly wig. And this is in the color Honey with Chai Latte. Now, Wig Studio One provided me this wig to review for you, but this is my own thoughts and opinions. So let's go ahead and dive into this review. Now down below is going to be links to Cafe Chic and all of our social media accounts over at with Wig Studio One where you can connect with us. So don't forget to check that out and see how you can save off of this wig. I am a fan. I have to say this won me over. Most of you know that I am not your typical reviewer that likes heat friendly wigs. I typically have a problem with heat friendly wigs, although I love the fiber quality and the lightweight to it. I, I freak out typically with heat friendly wigs and uh, I know a few of the other ladies, they love heat friendly wigs. So it's kind of like one of those things. And I think Taz sent me this one cause she knew I love this one. So thank you Taz. Um, this is a bob, which I've been really into bobs lately. And I really love my Allison by John Renault. I'll show a picture here. And I've done an Allison comparison with a few styles for Wig Studio One. So go check those out. But I think Taz sent me this one because she knew if I liked Allison, I'd like this. And I do, I really do. This is so lightweight. It feels very, very natural. I mean, super thin, super thin, very lightweight. Great movement. You know, with that heat friendly fiber, it feels so um, like natural hair. The, the fibers are just a lot thinner. Uh, I think this is gonna be great for the summer. Um, you know, this week I'm in Northern California and this week we're actually going to have where I live. We don't typically get over a hundred and we're going to have over a hundred here. And then I'm going away for my birthday and it's going to be 105 where I'm going. So I think this might be my wig because it just feels so lightweight. It feels incredible. So I think Taz knew what she was doing when she sent me this wig because I think she knew I needed to fall in love with the piece and this was the run to fall in love with. So thank you so much, Taz. But have you had Cafe Chic? She's been around a while. There's other reviews on our website and on our YouTube for this one. But this is the first time I've had her and I think she's a great uh, bob. She reminds me a lot, like I said, of John Renault Allison, just in a heat friendly style. Other than that, she reminds me a lot like her. Now, Allison is a full mono top with John Renault, so I just have to say that. This has a left mono part and a lace front. So little different features. Now, I will show you inside the cap in just a moment, but typical standard nape, uh, which is not an extended nape for the bob, which I think a lot of manufacturers do that. So um, let's go ahead and dive into a full review of it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a spin, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a spin outside. We'll show you inside the cap, do some styling, and then do our final thoughts on this wig. Okay, so let's talk about the Honey with Chai Latte color. The color code for this is 11R88B613. So it's a blend of Sienna Brown and Cool Medium Brown rooting with a blend of Honey Blonde, Light Blonde, and Smoky Blonde with a hint of Pure Blonde. It's definitely a good mix. I, I, I really don't know how they got that whole description from the color code. Um, you know, when I had this color a long time ago, I don't remember there being a color code to it. It's definitely just a good mix. It's warmer, obviously, than Butterbeer Blonde. It does have some warmth, but not as warm as, I think it's like Hazel Cookie. Mm. I kind of forgot the name, but I almost got that color. I remember three years ago when I got my Columbia and 
I went with this one and I was so glad I went with this one. As you can see, these ends are texturized, lots of movement with this wig. It's very lightweight um, and um, it's just really done really nicely. So I love the color. I think it has just enough platinum for my tasting with a little bit of warmth. Even though I like that Better Beer Blonde, I do like the rooting of this color as well. It's a little bit more warmer and not so dark. So like I said before, lace mono top, lace front, not an extended. You have felt velvet ear tabs with the napes going all the way through those ear tabs for movement and placement. Nape, good stretch for belt truss. Um, fits me nicely. Let's go ahead and put it back on. First, for styling, I'm gonna go ahead and unpart this. This is right out of the box. Has that left mono part. Typical for your belt dress wigs. They do have a few mono top wigs. So it's wanting to kind of naturally go this way, so I'm gonna let that Go that way. So this is in between, I believe, the lace of my um, wig grip. So you could also, um, it might not be, but anyway, it could not be lined up with that. But what you can do for these belt truss wigs is um, pluck in that hairline to just make it a little natural, more natural, and then use some concealer if you like. Also, I've seen people use the non-stick, like the um, scar tape, scar way tape. Some people like doing that, especially with these belt truss rooted wigs. Um, but, you know, it looks pretty nice for that. But if you're wanting a little bit more natural look to your part, those are some things that you can do. My glasses go over the ear tabs. Very nicely, because it's a low density wig, it does really well. You could style this away from the face if you would like. Um, you know, with the shorter style, it's already kind of off your neck and that's also gonna help a lot. But if you wanted to, you could pull that up. You just will probably wanna work on those front knots, um, but they don't seem that bad. I've had knots that were bigger, if that makes sense. So, so here are my final thoughts on this wig. She's like an everyday wig. And I, I want to say like the working woman's wig because she's really lightweight, easy to go, just throw on and go. Um, now, as you can see, I'm wearing like a shirt that kind of has like a collar to it, right? So with these heat friendly fibers, you just want to make sure you're using a wide tooth comb. Um, you're using a detangler. I love Simply Styling Silicone Silk Spray personally. They, it does really great for these fibers and keeping them well. Now remember with these heat friendly fibers, you can apply some heat or steam and um, kind of straighten out those ends if you want them a little straighter, if you want to have them curled, or if you want to add some styling to this wig, you can add a light, low temperature, I would say about 350 degrees. You can customize these heat friendly fibers. Um, so that's just my recommendation on the care of the wig. Um, but honestly, I like this one, I really do. So I think I'm keeping this one. Uh, it's great and I'm a, I'm a Bob lover lately, so it's a winner, it's a winner. I've actually been eyeing it on the website for quite a while actually um, and just never took the plunge and I think Taz could hear my thoughts and sent it to me. So anyway, I just wanna thank Wig Studio One for sending me the wig to review for you guys today. Again, don't forget to check out our website our link to our social medias and how you can connect with us. Also, I'm Wigging with Christy. 
Uh, don't forget to click on my YouTube channel. I'm down below. It will be a link to my channel as well as the other ladies. I'd love to have your support on my channel and to connect with you. I'm also on Instagram under Wigan with Christy. I'm kind of open and I post a lot of different stuff on Instagram and on my YouTube channel. My goal is to connect with women of all different lives and different lifestyles and on different paths and to just make you feel loved and appreciated. So I'd love to connect with you over on my um, YouTube and on my Instagram. From all of us at Wake Studio One, we hope you have a great day and a blessed week. We'll see you next time, bye.